Fittingly, the performance ensured the Dynamo will be in the postseason for the first time since 2013. The Dynamo played to a 0-0 draw against Sporting Kansas City at Children's Mercy Park. The result, on a night when all of the Western Conference teams kicked off at the same time, was enough for the Dynamo, 12-10-11, to clinch a playoff berth with one game left in the regular season. Derek made a career-high nine saves, none more mind-boggling than the one he made in the fifth minute of added time with Sporting KC on the doorstep. A five-foot-high crossing pass deflected off two players and into the six-yard box. A Sporting KC player got to it with his right foot, but Derek reached behind himself to swat it away from danger with his left hand. Sporting KC, 12-8-13, outshot the Dynamo, 27-14. The Dynamo hit two shots on target. The Dynamo looked strong in the opening minutes. Albert Thelis got a few chances to hit top speed dribbling into the attacking third, but never created any ultra-dangerous chances. Sporting KC eventually settled into its possession game, which severely limited Tha Dynamo's chance to get forward. Eventually, Sporting KC looked dangerous in the attacking third and would have scored a couple of goals had it not been for Derek and his three first-half saves. The Dynamo ended the regular season on October 22 with a home game against the Chicago Fire. They are assured of no worse than Tha No. 5 seed which means a road game in the playoffs. If they beat Chicago and Seattle Sounders FC or Sporting KC lose, they could finish in fourth place and earn a home playoff game.